Hi guys, Irish Bushwookie here. Just with a quick tutorial on getting a leaf camo spray paint on to a claymore. Um, start off with basically just Krylon. So the natural colour, this is OD green. I'm going to give a good heavy coat of uh, a brown uh, just for that under colour. Um, I think it kind of sets up a nice kind of base and then basically going to layer the, the colours then over that from there. So, um, Standard kind of cry lines are generally the best type of one to use and generally keep a couple of centimeters from it, nice kind of heavy coat on it and um, just make sure you cover it all really. So once you have that base going done it should look something uh, very very similar to this here. You got a nice kind of even coat done. Following that then, we got basically some leaves that I picked up in uh, an aquarium, or for an aquarium, so I say. Um, these are going to give a nice kind of tiger stripe-esque kind of look to it, um, which kind of really suits my kind of local field that I play on. So generally just kind of lay them out as I am here, um, nice and kind of even. Um, try not to bunch up too much because you want that pattern to come out and not to kind of clump together as, as, as colours. So you got nice and kind of even. Lay out the, uh, the leaves where you want them, pretty much. Once you're happy enough with the design, you're going to get your basic, your light green, again, Krylon paint, and just kind of give it a couple of kind of dust and coats over it. Get that kind of leafy kind of pattern going, and then basically mix it up then. Go in from a different angle or a different uh, direction, and do the same again. Basically, keep layering it over until you're happy enough with the coverage that you've got and with the design that you've got. So, what you should have following this uh, step is basically a nice kind of mix of brown and green, um, kind of stripe kind of effect, something similar to what you see here. The last and final step that I use on this is basically getting a dark OD green, uh, which is a couple of shades darker than the brighter one that we would have used. I'm basically just going to use the same sort of method again, just kind of going over the top, um, using a slightly different direction that you would have used on the lighter green ones, and it's generally just going to give that nice kind of blended mix of light and dark green kind of leaf, kind of design through it. Um, and this is literally just used just for finishing, you don't have to do it completely all over. I use it quite sparingly, as you can see there. Um, and for me, I think the the final effect is uh, it's quite good and quite effective. So this has basically been a quick tutorial, like I said, on spray painting up uh, claymore. You can go into more kind of depth, use more kind of patterns if you're doing a gun and so forth. But I think for a claymore, for hiding it in the bush, it takes that nice kind of shiny effect off it. it gives a nice matte finish, and it blends in quite well. Thanks again for watching, guys. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Cheers. Thank you, Newton.